Today, we're going to take a look at how to color grade log footage in Final Cut Pro and one huge mistake I see a lot of people making, including myself, until I learned the proper way. For this video, I'm going to be using demo clips shot using a Lumix Vlog color profile, but this applies to all log profiles, no matter what camera it's filmed on. First, what is log and why should you use it? Well, a human eye can see about 24 stops of light. A camera sensor, like the one in this Lumix S5, can pick up about 12 to 14 stops of light. A standard SDR video file is about 6 stops. So anything outside this range is cut off. What this means is we lose detail in everything outside of our 6 stop rectangle. Anything above will be pure white and anything below complete black. When filming in a standard color profile, if you film a scene with high dynamic range, you have to choose what part of your scene to expose for. You either keep the detail in your highlights and give up detail in the shadows, or you keep detail in your shadows and blow out your highlights. This is where log profiles come in. When you shoot in a log profile, a logarithmic equation is applied to your input signal. This compresses the 12 to 14 stops of light your sensor picks up and compresses it so it fits inside a standard video file. Same as done with color. Basically, you keep more dynamic range in your shot and when you color grade it, you have all that extra information to work with. When you bring your log footage into Final Cut Pro, it does not look good. It's flat, doesn't have much color, it just doesn't look good. Just adding contrast and saturation to your image might make it look a little bit better, but it's really hard to make it look right. This is why we use conversion lookup tables or LUT. A conversion LUT is a mathematical formula designed specifically for the log profile you're using, which applies all the necessary corrections to your image to bring it into the Rec 709 color space and make your image look right. You can usually get these free from your camera manufacturer's website, or you can buy subjectively better LUTs from third party sellers. The conversion LUTs I use are Panasonic base LUTs for Vlog from Gamut. I think these cost some around 30 bucks, or at least I think they look better. I'll link them down below. Now, there's a couple ways to apply LUTs in Final Cut Pro. The way I used to do it was right from the inspector window. Select your clip in the timeline, go to the info inspector, and down at the bottom, change the view from basic to extended. About halfway down, you'll see a camera LUT drop down. Final Cut Pro comes with a bunch of conversion LUTs already pre-installed, so you don't even have to download anything. Just select your log profile you filmed in and your image instantly looks better. If you download it a lot and want to use that one, open up the camera LUT drop down, select add custom camera LUT and navigate to your downloaded LUT. Selecting it adds it to your Final Cut Pro's library of camera LUTs. So next time you need to use it, it'll be available from this drop down. Adding a conversion LUT brings your image into the Rec 709 color space, which makes it look better, but it's not perfect. You might still need to make a few color adjustments. In my example, I might want to brighten it up a little and maybe add a bit of saturation. Adding LUTs in the video inspector is the way most people I know grade their log footage. And this is the way I used to do it until my friend Eric Lentz made a video showing why you shouldn't do this. Let's take a look at another example. In this one, my footage is clearly overexposed, but if you look at the waveform, nothing is clipped. With log footage, we should be able to bring back some of the details in our highlights. I'll add the same LUT to this clip, add a color wheels correction, and bring down the overall exposure. Even though we should be able to get some detail back, we really aren't. This happened to me quite a few times, and there was nothing I could do to save these shots. Then I watched Eric's video and realized I was adding LUTs the wrong way this whole time. But in my defense, this wasn't completely my fault more of a Final Cut Pro issue that hopefully gets fixed soon. Anyways, the second and the proper way to add conversion LUTs to your clips is by using the custom LUT effect. Let me show you. Here we have the same overexposed clip and this time let's go to the effects browser and add a custom LUT effect. From the LUT drop down, choose a custom LUT and let's add the same LUT we did before. Same thing, the clip is way overexposed. Now let's grab the color correction from our last clip and add it to this clip. Same as before, our highlights are still blown out. But if you grab this color correction and drag it up above the custom LUT in the inspector window, we all of a sudden get the detail back in our highlights. We can now go back to our color wheels and fine tune it to get it looking even better. See, what Eric explained in this video, and I'll make sure to link it down below, 
is the proper way to adjust a clip with a LED applied to it is to adjust the base clip before applying your LED. Now, you can't really do it that way because you don't know what it's going to look like until you apply the LED. So what you have to do is place your color correction above your LED. Then add your adjustments. In Final Cut Pro, the order you have your adjustments in matters. And that's why our results were so different depending on the placement of our color correction. When using a camera LED, like we did in the first couple examples, adding a color correction above our LED is impossible. And this is why you shouldn't be using camera LEDs, at least for now, until Apple fixes it. To summarize, when creating log footage, do not use camera LEDs built into Final Cut Pro. Use the custom light effect. Also, make sure to check out Eric's channel, a perfect place to learn anything you need to know when it comes to color. Thanks for watching, I'll see you in the next one.